Hi everyone, Mike here, and today I'm talking about my MyPin Video to Digital Converter. We got this MyPin Converter about a year ago because upon unpacking after moving, we discovered a really old camcorder from the late 90s with a large collection of tapes we had made and forgotten about. These tapes were a very special family events from back then. Even a trip to Disneyland. This little device comes with a detailed instruction booklet that makes it really easy to operate. But make sure you follow these directions as I refer to what may happen if you don't in my suggestion for improvement near the end of this video. My pin records video from any VHS tape, Hi8 tape, camcorder, set-top box, or actually any source at all. And the biggest and best thing about it is that it converts the analog video to digital and saves it either on a thumb drive or a mini SD card up to 32 gigabytes in size. We had to get this done as some of the tapes were already starting to degrade. The My Pin Converter has done a great job for us and helped us, well, preserve memories from past holidays, birthdays, and other events from years and years ago, as well as events with grandparents who have long since passed. Love this thing. The only thing I would like to see improved is the menuing on the front panel. To record video, you have to select TV in and then press the record button. If you don't select TV in first and instead just press the record button, the device plays the video but only records the audio. And you don't realize this because you can see the device playing the video. So you don't realize this until you play back and there is only sound in the playback, no video. How do I know this? <laughs> yes, I have done this more than a couple of times. Trust me, this can be a real pain, especially if you just processed a really long video, only to find out all you recorded was the audio. <laughs> anyway, regardless, I love and appreciate the memories our MyPin has allowed us to preserve.